my dear students in advanced accounts for become second year third semester there are some chapters where you can expect theory and theory questions for long answers among that partnership is also one of the chapter which you need to consider there you may get a question like a defined partnership what are the characteristic features of partnership firm that may be asked or what is a partnership deal what are the contents of partnership deal after that there is a choice of getting a question in the absence of partnership deal how you are going to treat the interest on capital and other items other than that my dear students in bonus shares there is a possibility of getting a long answer question like uh, defined bonus shares or what are bonus shares and give the sebi rules at the time of giving bonus issue to the shareholders you know my dear students bonus shares are extra shares given by the company at a free of cost out of the reserves created from earnings of the company bonus can be given under two ways like converting partly paid up shares into fully paid up shares and giving of free shares so there are some sebi guidelines the first one is like uh, the articles of the association articles of association of the company must permit to issue bonus shares then the company should not skip the dividends if the partly paid up shares are there first we need to convert those shares into fully paid up shares likewise what are the reserves to be used and what are the reserves not to be used say a reserve like a revaluation reserve and a reserve for bad debts mission replacement reserves these reserves cannot be used for issuing bonus shares then my dear students there is a choice of getting a question on goodwill valuation and methods of valuation of goodwill you know my dear students goodwill is a intangible asset which is not a fictitious asset it is a intangible goodwill is a fixed asset it will appear in the assets of the balance sheet and there are some situations where we need to value goodwill like at the time of admission of partner retirement or death of the partner when one business is purchasing another business we need to value the goodwill there are some methods my dear students like simple average profit method weighted average profit method super profit method capitalization method and all there you need to learn about capital employed and average capital employed and all then valuation of shares a share is a part of company's capital there are two kinds of shares like equity shares and preference shares equity shares are listed in stock exchanges so there are some situations where shares are to be valued like when you want to invest in any company shares you need to do valuation when one company is amalgamating with another company then also we need to value there are some methods which are based on assets of the company net assets method or intrinsic value method and second one is earnings value method third one is like dual value method then one more theory question may come write the differences between equity shares and preference shares and one more uh, theory question like uh, differences between debentures and uh, shares you know debentures are said to be loan instruments for the company when the company want to write the long term loans it will issue debentures when company wants capital they will issue shares those who buy the debentures are called as debenture holders those who buy the shares are called as shareholders debenture holders will get interest shareholders will get dividends though the company is not having sufficient profits also they have to pay though they are in profits or not interest should be paid whereas in case of shareholders if the company is not in profits no need to pay any dividends debentures can be converted into shares however shares cannot be converted into debentures debentures can be redeemed means repaid after 4 or 5 years likewise however share capital company will not redeem 
try to learn these questions you will get idea not only this my dear students if you ask sir is profit prior to incorporation is not important why it is not important it's also important okay so there we learn about distribution of expenses between pre incorporation and post incorporation the table is very much important how to distribute uh, expenses and incomes between those two then my dear students balance sheet in company accounts we do the balance sheet those performance of the balance sheet and the pnl account in company accounts is also important so you can prepare all but if time is not sufficient give this importance to prepare this short answer questions i have already given these are the long answer questions which you consider important in advanced accounts for bcom third semester hope my dear students you are going to use this i wish all the best